Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Golden. I'm here to introduce you to an instrument that I've been working on for about, about a year. It's an instrument that I've improved based on an existing instrument. This instrument's been around for about 100 years. It's called a 69. It's a wonderful instrument, but it's very impractical. In my research and development stages, I try to understand the theory behind the instruments that I work with. Once I understood the theory behind this instrument, which I've been using for 20 to 30 years, I realized that I can make it better. This is called the Golden Mesh GMX 69. This instrument is an extremely important instrument where all other instruments, forceps, will not work in the extraction or the final removal of any upper tooth, including root tips. This instrument is designed for teeth that the golden mesh instrument can't use because you can't grab the beak or the tooth is so severely decayed that the instruments won't work. This instrument, the golden mesh GMX 69, can virtually take out any root tip, any upper tooth if you understand number one the theory behind it and how to use it. We've designed this instrument to complement it with two elevators. The elevators were designed as duplicates of the beaks of the instrument, the buckle and the lingual. If you understand the use of the elevators, then the use of the instrument will follow. The videos and the extractions which I will be showing you will demonstrate the use of these elevators, then the use of the forcep. You cannot use the forcep unless you use the elevators first. That's very important. The golden mesh instruments are wonderful, but if you can't grab any solid tooth surface, they don't work. The need to lay a flap, cut the bone on any anterior upper tooth, posterior upper tooth, or by upper tooth is now eliminated. This instrument can take out any upper tooth, not lower tooth, but upper tooth if used properly. What we want to achieve here is to take the elevator, there's a lingual and a buccal elevator that is designed to go between the gum and the bone all the way to the end of the root. Between the gum and the bone all the way to the end of the root. You have to be farther up with these elevators than the root. These instruments are designed to go all the way up to the end of the root. And what we want to do is take the lingual and the buccal come back, take the forcep, replace it where the elevators were, wrist movement only, the instruments cannot work unless you use your wrist only, never squeeze the instrument, and all you're doing is compressing the bone and that tooth will come out. Many doctors have called me up and said, you know, I'd rather just lay a flap in the front so I don't rip the tissue, it's easier to sew up. In many instances, the tissue will tear, and if it does tear, you have to sew it back up. But if you lay a flap and push the tissue away, it solves that problem of having irregular tissue. These elevators are designed to complement the, the, the roundness of the bone between under the gum. If you take this elevator, this is a buckle elevator, and you just push down, it goes above the end of the root. There are two lines on the elevator. If this elevator is pushed far enough where it stops between the two lines, you've pushed far enough. Then you take the lingual one. The lingual one, the same thing. Between the gum and the bone, you push. Once you go between those two lines, you stop. You pull it back. Then you push it back again and you push the gum back so the elevator has room and then the forcep will have room to complement the elevator. Again, the elevators are an exact duplication of the ends of the forcep. So once you've taken the buccal and the lingual elevators, you replace it with the forcep, which is what I'm going to do. What I'm trying to do is slowly take the elevator, push up, take the elevator, push up, then I take the forcep and I go where the elevators were. I never squeeze this instrument. I'm just going like this. Then I move it up, go like this, move it up, go like this, and you will start to see 
the remainder of that tooth, whether it be the root or half, half the tooth, will start moving in a vertical direction out of the socket. I cannot puncture that bone if I'm moving my wrist. I can puncture the bone if I squeeze the instrument. This instrument, once placed on the tooth, never should be squeezed. Wrist movement, move up, wrist movement, move up, wrist movement. You'll see the tooth start to come out. In every instance, if it doesn't, go back and do it again. It means you didn't apply enough force. So it's a one, two, three, maybe four procedure extraction. This instrument has been designed to be complemented by two elevators, as I've mentioned before. The instrument is sold as a set, and I guarantee you that any upper tooth that either the instruments you're used to using or the gold emission instruments that you're using that will not grab the tooth, this instrument can take out virtually any remainder of a tooth, root tip, or broken root or broken tooth if you understand the theory behind it and the application of both elevators and the instrument. It is sold as a set, and I want to thank you very much for watching. Thank you.